Well, hi and welcome to another training video. Now, I had a few emails come in uh, last week talking about the uh, trend lines and some more video, uh, more questions come in saying about not using trend lines because I've made an awful lot of videos in the past not using trend lines and why was I using them now? Well, to be honest with you, I don't actually use trend lines that much at all because, well, I just don't. I keep it very, very simple. So, that's, and apparently this is how a lot of um, the, the people watching the videos actually preferred it. So uh, whilst there was so, those in the camp that like the trend line, there's definitely those in the, that don't like the trend line. There's those that like to keep it really simple. So I thought what I'd do is go back to basics, just show you what I do um, and how you can read exactly the same uh, process, exactly the same what's going on, because there is only the same thing, accumulation, manipulation and profit lease. So we'll go straight onto a chart and have a look at, uh, or start the chart we're on now and have a look at how things are set up um, this morning and this afternoon. So let's get up on there now. So here we are, uh, Euro US dollar. Um, we can see we've got our um, uh, uh, high volume lines on. You can set up here. Again, we could even turn these off if we wanted to. I'm just going to cycle through them. You see, you just cycle up through and then they just turn off if you want. And so what we do here, the absolute basics. Um, is to just look at actually just analyze look at the market what's going on let's just call this up here and uh, first off i'm going to look say okay we've got a bit of a downtrend through here we then got the, a bit of a racking up going down through here now this is likely to be a bit of manipulation and accumulation the reason i say that is because you can see how that point there just pops above this and then coming down here you can see we get this uh, pop down through here then the market goes back up again through here and so I can see the bit of manipulation. Is there going to be a turn up? I don't really know. That's not something I can uh, uh, guarantee at knowing at this point. But it's something that intrigues me straight away. And I, what I'm doing here is really doing the visual uh, trend, if you like. I'm saying, OK, down around here. If I expected this to break up, what would I expect to see it for, see first? I'd expect to see some stop taking. Now, where any traders coming up through here uh, will have put uh, stops under here. Any traders through here will have put stops down here. So you can see anything here would have been going on quite a bit of harvesting around this area here and this area here. And then the market does indeed start to get into an up move. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to say, OK, well, do I want to be looking for a trade around this area going forward tomorrow? Because we're not going to make any money uh, on this bit past here. We're only going to make our money in this bit that we cannot see yet in the future. Which a lot of people seem to forget about when they're showing you this stuff. OK, so let's get rid of that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in very quickly and I'm going to say, OK, well, you can see actually where that trend line broke from there all the way down from there. So what I do is I say, OK, well, there's a fair uh, trend been running down here. I'm going to see I'm going to see there's 90, 180. So it's getting onto a fair bit of a trend movement down there all the way through. Let me just click up and actually get rid of that trend line if I can. We don't need to keep that on there. Can't get rid of these other lines because I'm recording. It won't let me do that. OK, so what would I be looking for here? I would be mindful of the overall downtrend for quite some time since January the 7th. So I'd certainly be paying attention to that. I wouldn't be looking for any long supported continuing up move. In, in other words, a great deal of a, a strength market developing. That wouldn't stop me buying into the market given the right circumstances. But what I'd be looking for is if I am uh, wanting to get long into this market, I would be looking for a retrace. So I've, and the only reason I'm looking for this is because I've already seen this. So in other words, if I, I'm looking for this up here, if I see a retrace come down, OK, and the market goes up a little bit and then I see it come down again and punch out any stops that would be beneath this. So I'm sort of looking for a double retrace. Then I would be interested in going long out of there and continue on up. And what I would do, though, I would be looking at the overall move from this point here and seeing how far that is likely going to run. So I'd be certainly looking for a target. And for that, I would be looking around about the 90 uh, pips move from where, from wherever that move actually started from. Now, currently, I'd use that point there as my starting point. There. So that's what I do there. And then what I'd be doing for is saying, OK, well, if um, that trade didn't work out or that trade worked out, but, it, it, you know, I made some money on that, I'd immediately then say, OK, well, is it now going to continue on down with this overall trend? And what I'd be doing there is I would be looking for 
um, where stops might have been uh, placed and are looking for the market to run to. Now, so I'm going to give you a, a quick guideline of what I'll be looking for here in, in, in terms of where I think the market would be going to. Any up move, I think the market will get up to around this level here, which is the bottom white line you see of the 90 pips tall. Why? I think if the market's going to continue on down, there can be an awful lot of stops sitting nicely above that point there. So I think any run up on the market here, a forced run up, would punch out those stops and get us into a nice continuation of the overall downtrend. So that's what I'll be looking for. You can see what I do. I keep a very flexible approach to trading. I'm not concerned really about nailing the colors to the mask and saying, OK, that's where it's going to go. I look at a global picture and say, OK, where do I expect it is likely to go? And what things would I see on the way to reinforce where I expect it likely to go? Like I just said about going up to this the bottom here. Why? Because I've got some historic stuff over here that's telling me this is highly likely. That's where I want to go. If you were a market maker and you were sitting there and you anticipated the market was going to go, you knew the market was going to go down further on and you wanted to accumulate some more uh, selling stock, what would you do? You'd run it up here and you'd take out any stops above here. You may even have a probe along here. But notice the um, increase of volume here. See this, how this blue bar went up and then we had the drop down through here and we had another drop down there. There's quite a bit of weakness that came up through there. So any running up there could be very effective to punching out some stops. Hope that helps. I'll catch up with you very soon. Take care. Have a great day.